afternoon, everyone, or good morning to some of you um, arriving from far away countries. I know we have the United States here already in and slowly uh, other registration members are coming in. I'm happy to welcome you to this small event uh, commemorating the Africa uh, uh, day um, with a chosen theme of the diaspora inspiration. This is the second uh, uh, time we are organizing this event here in Inspire Network. Last time was last year, uh, which was the anniversary of the first year of the existence of the Inspire Network. And we had a very successful um, talk and the theme was Inspiring Africa. So we had a lot of uh, projects which are done from all over the world actually with Africa. But then um, it was necessary to uh, organize a day where we um, uh, speak about the Africans themselves. And I thought African diaspora uh, would be a great um, topic. Uh, and uh, we are looking into the uh, inspirations in a sense uh, that how can we um, uh, empower or facilitate or support the African diasporas um, whether it is their initiatives or um, African diaspora students in finding their places into diaspora. And then of course, looking at how the African uh, uh, diaspora initiatives could be supported uh, both uh, amongst uh, uh, the diasporas uh, themselves, but also uh, um, within uh, or across uh, the boundaries, meaning uh, the diaspora who has initiative in the country of uh, living uh, and their home country. I'm delighted to welcome all of you. Uh, I believe others are joining slowly. Uh, this session should have 33 uh, people who registered. Uh, and I have uh, to uh, already now, uh, say that uh, we're very grateful to have uh, all of you uh, participants here. I see that uh, we have uh, His Excellency Ambassador Jezo uh, with us. Um, I'm very delighted that you could join this discussion because um, I believe that uh, uh, our embassies are the drivers uh, to the success of the diaspora. And in the coming month, I'm hoping to launch a roundtable with the ambassadors just to talk about how could we realize this dream, um, and especially uh, when planning the next year's Africa Day. Uh, I also recognize the presence of uh, uh, Salah Korkumadi from the Embassy of Morocco. Uh, for being with us here now, uh, also listening. And I know that the Embassy of Morocco is more than uh, looking forward for the roundtable discussion in the coming month. We are very much uh, delighted to have you here. There will be more uh, people from the different missions uh, represented here, possibly coming later on. Uh, I'm also uh, happy to uh, say that uh, uh, Antti Marche, the director for the UNITE, uh, the World with Africa Foundation, uh, is here with us all the way from the United States. And uh, we have done a little bit uh, work together and uh, your inspiring projects in, in Tanzania are very much appreciated to the communities. And I think this is a great platform also for you to be in uh, I believe this is Miriam Monezero, Dr. Miriam, if I, I, I may, uh, from Think Africa. I know that uh, you are doing a very important work um, uh, with Africa in terms of uh, the promotion, the coordination and connection with Africa and, uh, and Finland and the rest of the world, I believe. And uh, all these 
or all the activities that you are doing are really important. And the viewpoints of viewers here today would be well appreciated uh, as we go on. Mugasa Eco is here from Hills Connect. And we will hear more about Mugasa uh, later on. In this session, uh, the first session, we are going to talk about uh, the uh, part of uh, how to support the uh, diaspora students. And I can see uh, we already have uh, two presenters with us uh, in here. And uh, I will not uh, waste much more time, but uh, I would like to introduce the first speaker, uh, who is uh, also a star in Inspire Network. Her story has been uh, very uh, inspirational. Uh, and then um, she started to support the uh, African students wanting to go to study in, uh, in Finland through her YouTube channel. And she decided to offer guidance and support activities through real example, showing the possibilities and opportunities whenever they can come up. She is an educator. She is also the uh, international students influencer. So I would welcome now to the stage, uh, Tabi, Emilia, if you could uh, share your insights. <laughs> 